We got a lot of gameplay yesterday for Android 21 lab coat, but we still have a lot of questions like what the hell does the command grab buff? It's buffing something, we're getting the power up message on the side, but what is it buffing? Today we're getting the character breakdown directly from the Dragon Ball games battle hour. I hope it's brought to us by Damascus and Tyrant because they did a great job last time. And I'm reacting to the breakdown live on Twitch, which is why the video looks the way it does with chat scrolling at the bottom and everything. If you guys enjoy this, drop by twitch.tv slash and give me a follow and let's jump into the breakdown. Yo! Oh. Apology, man. Taron, take us through that character because she's been fun. Oh, uh, mouse cursor. Mouse cursor. All right, so let's go through the normals first <laughs> no. of all, as we usually do. So we're going to start with the light buttons. So her light buttons? L is a low. Low. Um, it's a low attack. Ah. Uh, it's kind of same, same <laughs> Start menu. 18, right? To yeah, so it's like kind of like Android 18s goes really far. The light, the light attack really button brings up the, the Windows start menu. Assist, and with like a lot of assists get a 50-50. So it's a six insane. frame low. So here, this uh, Ooh, second, 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 second yeah, light. I'd say this is like one of her best normals range wise uh, from well, once we get into the other normals. The last hit of the 5LL is a grab. The mm -hmm. last so. hit is a grab. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so you can like, yeah, you like gotta assist, spit, his, spit it right there. You go. On. Okay, moving on to the medium buttons, guys. So these are two hitting medium buttons, buttons hit twice. So the two M two M hits uh, twice two right there. Well. Dot dot. Mm -hmm. um, as you the first button matches. doesn't first seem to have a lot of reach. Far, yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Range wise, not too great, but it is eight frame startup, which is actually eight pretty frame crazy startup. Uh, okay. The other eight okay. Frame low to my knowledge. Eight frame two M is good. Okay, and again, okay, so uh, five, standing eight, medium eight, also again, two all hits. Buttons, guys, every button you've seen so far, That's apart cool. from like the the five LL minus four on block. Moving up to the um, two H. I mean six 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 M is this like six you know, M. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, uh, six so, M. Okay. It was pretty decent range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So two uh, H here. Um, you know, it seems to two H is very vertical. Yeah, so it goes up pretty high. I'd say this is like one of her problems. Uh, the yeah. Doesn't go very far forward. I exactly. Think, uh, even yeah. though it goes up. High I mean, for up, someone used to kid boot like two H though, recovery. this is a great uh, two H. <laughs> it, it, it is. Okay, so she does have some uh, command heavies as well. So she's got this uh, the three H right here. Three H. Okay, she's that's nice. the low. It, of course. And um, the six H is going to be the overhead, right? If you notice, she just has a ton of lows. Like, uh, you could do like Bro. five lows in a string if you think about it. You could do two L, five L, two M. <laughs> and then 3H, and then you could also go into her stomp, which you've been saying. So uh, many lows. A bunch of this week. That's also a low. So you can just oh, the do stomp a is also a low. Okay, the 6H, which is the overhead, the cancel blow overhead. You yeah, there you go, 6H, um, overhead. So it's, it's, you know, same as Kefla kind of thing, um, apart from she does go airborne. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So just like Kefla, you can cancel is, into specials. You can also cancel into 3H. Like I think like we've seen like it. Said, 27 frames, but I think where the overhead becomes really important is when you're conditioning for Dragon Rush and cross up uh, Jump H. So it crushes 2Hs for overhead, and it also crushes lows, which is really, really strong. It, it doesn't look like it would crush a 2H because she's going airborne, but it, it does crush 2Hs. Crushing uh, lows is good. Crushing 2H is good. <laughs> So let's see here. So we've got five H as well. Um, good range. So, good range. Yeah, I'm standing button. heavy. I quite like this one. So yeah, let's move on to her jump buttons now. So um, so jump light. Um, yeah. Seems to have like, like a team Gohan style one where you can just kind of like go into specials, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it's pretty good cross up option. It has like a little hitbox behind it as well. I like it. Uh, yeah. It's pretty similar to team Gohan's in that way. Uh, okay. So the jump M. Jump is, uh, medium is two well. hits as well. Yeah. So, yeah, so this button is crazy because it's so active, right? This game, like, jumping is really strong. I think everyone knows that. This button is so good at air daring because of how active it is. Right. You can uh, air dare people to the floor with, like, an air string super well. And because she's just, like, slapping you and you can just do jump L, jump H. Good like, point. It's good very, point. Very, very good. Definitely. That's um, the button to stop super lashes. Well, which has a really good uh, downwards hitbox. Mm hmm. You know? <laughs> and this <laughs> jumping heavy is crazy. <laughs> We've seen yeah. the reach on this. It's, so funky, but it's, it's kind of like Goku Black, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got the stilettos. So yeah, so the, it crosses up actually point blank. Uh, if you I point blank over cross ups, over nice. the opponent, uh, point blank, it'll it'll still cross them up, and you can dash up and do like a five L to confirm. Off Damn. Of it. Okay, so uh, let's talk about her key blasts and her S uh, specials. So um, pretty pretty standard stuff here. With Very key good key blasts. Yeah, yeah, seen these in action. normals aren't like the best. She has like a good standard key blast. It hits yeah. at 13 frames, which is like a pretty like standard key blast speed. Uh, you can like shoot five of them. 
And yeah, no, I, I think that's like a huge, like it, when it comes to like playing a character in this game, having like a solid key blast is super important. So Okay, fast. we're getting into I the special moves now. The first one, the beam. Like point blank, it's yeah, 14 it frames. Oh, wow. Which yeah, is that is a fast I, I, beam. I, I, I like just realized it somewhat recently. Damn. Like, completely gapless. <laughs> from a, so good. From a medium. Is also piercing as well. From and a medium, because the beam is so air. fast. Yeah, it can just jail uh, from any move. Which is really strong. And she could do it in the air too. Two, one, four, S, command grab. Yeah, so the command grab, uh, yeah. it's 24 frames. 24 uh, frames. Kind of like Android 21. All right. Uh, it does like a thousand, a thousand damage, which is pretty good. But the interesting thing about it is that it steals a little bit of health. It steals uh, so health. It actually gets 500 HP for landing. The I guess, yeah, that makes and sense. This isn't just blue health. We've seen. This is yellow health. Like, if you have blue We've health, seen the move heal her. I didn't think but of it as like stealing health. health. I just thought, oh, it's a command grab. It deals damage so and you heal back. But I guess, like okay, if you want to talk can, about it's comp, stealing like, health from the opponent, I guess you general, could see it that way. Because uh, you can do stomp after it if you land. And it actually heals her. It's not just blue health. It's true health. You can also use it in the air. So it's very good for just like anti airing people. And you can confirm off of it by like doing a vanish whiff and then stomping and then doing a confirm off of that. Uh, mm. Yeah, so it, mm. it's, it's, it's definitely a good option and it's good to use in your combo. It's beautiful. Steal a little bit of health, you know. Uh, okay, and we've got the barrier coming up here. So Barrier. Down, down, so special. T-pose. <laughs> T-pose. So, 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 <laughs> 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 so, so what does she yeah, cancel it to? This is the, uh, Why are we going to see it later? You just do forward input and get the super. Yeah, I get the super. It, yeah, it's, yeah. It's kind of, oh, you just do sick. forward um, input. Right, you so don't so even have to do the full motion. Right <laughs> um, okay, so special two, moves. Three, six, uh, is uh, we've got the light version. It's the slicer. Quarter circle the forward. Version goes a little further. And then the ex. Ex. Goes, it doesn't go super uh, far in, in the um, air, but on so the ground it seems to go up, right? super far. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the uh, ex on the ground goes super far. It's definitely like going to be one of our most important neutral tools, I'd say. So this is the. And 214 yeah, is the anti air oh, version, yeah, really. so it's this another move spinning move. <laughs> this move is crazy. <laughs> so, uh, the, the yeah. light and medium ones, you know, they got the frame four, I oh. believe, on the frame on the four invisibility. Uh, property. Okay. The EX, the EX one, it's, it's frame one. The EX it's is frame one. Frame one okay. anti air. So, in the air, like, that's just why, that's why if, we like, saw a lot Vegeta, of this during the matches. EX DP'd your super dash. But then he killed you after it. There's yeah, quarter circle H, back goes up with a spin. H, and plus and a quarter circle forward goes it's forward with a spin. So quarter circle forward is invulnerable to key blast. Quarter circle like, back is anti-air. Okay, the stomp. Uh, it's mostly, mostly down, down fire. lights, you down, down medium, or down, well. down heavy. Uh, it's 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 definitely like a it is a low part of her combo structure, and it picks up off the ground. There's unique things you can do synergy-wise with other characters. If you land a command grab. And you tag her and you get it off. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> you get a lot of damage off of it too. The oh, so this like, is no where you 214M are, M, and it always lands next to the yeah, character. Has, like, That's how people damage, have been finishing combo combos. Because so like really combo it vacuums. Super, like, so you can always do this. Super Supers! Is this one. Level one super, pretty standard. Twenty twenty one damage, nice little Easter eggs there. Twenty one twenty one damage. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we saw a lot of it so far, but like you can just, you can just combo after it. You can yeah, combo yeah, after yeah. it. I think we're gonna see a little bit more of that later, but uh, it well, has a lot of it done. Uh, the ground one specifically, it has this like. Oh, so he picked it up. But the air yeah. one, the spinning. Uh, it makes. The oh my god. Down. And there's an air uh, quarter circle forward sh one. That one teleports behind you, uh, and it knocks the opponent down as well. And this one teleports. So, okay. Yeah, generally, like if you can. Same I damage. Think, I think, like, okay. Here's damage. the command grab this is super. The one you all want to know about. Yes, okay? I, I, we right all want to know about this. Um, why you saw a lot of players just using it? Why are they doing it? What is it powering up? Well, let's find out. Okay, so it's a command grab. Okay, command grab. Okay, again, same damage. Twenty twenty one damage. Twenty one. Cool. Startup, same damage. But the cool. thing about this one is, it. It nerfs the opponent, right? Yeah. It nerfs it the opponent. Gives them a twenty-one percent damage nerf, <laughs> and it no. gives. It is actually a twenty-one percent damage nerf. Your special moves. 
And like, a twenty-one percent damage buff to people. my so special moves. Permanent. We could not find a way to get out yeah. of this. And it is permanent. Like, you what do you it, mean permanent? The whole match? Two, Wait. Two, Wait. Two, Wait. Two, so I get hit by this two, once. Two, one bar of meter. So. The whole match. I have twenty-one percent damage nerf. What? That does that that's that that no no ah. That's not fair. You can also get That's fucking nuts. Dash Permanent? Dash. I did not expect. It's like a pretty solid like combo ender to do. Is it like a and per character basis? Like if I tag someone else, does she have to nerf all my three characters, or is it my team? Uh, it's frame four invul, so you're gonna beat like their option. And, and she has it, six lows, so you can't adjust. Yeah, jump. she she has exactly. six lows. You're not allowed lows. to adjust <laughs> jump. She has so many lows and a command grab anytime. You need to just like find a way out by taking. You need like to to just guess right pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's as a mix it raw, like, tool, it, it is crazy, but also that, she's she can just yourself. finish the that the combo with that at any time. On, like, the damage being permanent for for, character, for your just, character, the damage awesome. buff, um, that's fine. All right, let's move on the to the nerf. Now, there are two it better be per character. Um, okay, so this is the standard one. That's too much. All right, first level three. Shidori. One of the thing about level three is that they just don't get good mix after that. So that's the first level three. All right, so that's uh, the normal, that's the light and medium uh, level three. And then she's got the other one, which is with uh, S and H. And then the other one. Yeah, and so same thing, I, I love the, I love that. I love the, the, the glasses looks, reflection. I want to uh, see yeah. this super without so this the glasses, because uh, she does lose the, the glasses. Corner, at least. So when you're, when you're choosing between the level threes... When she takes enough corner, damage, corner. the glasses are just gone. Uh, I, I, I want to see that animation without the glasses, because I think because that's a big a part of the effect. Than the other one. This one does a little uh, less damage, but so it keeps them in the corner. You're gonna choose this one. I think it's mostly for for Oki. To anyway, assists. The, assist. the A assist uh, is a, a little spin. It's the lariat. It uh, the B assist is the shield. The C assist is the beam. Can, like, go down to, like, I'm pretty but sure the assist. There's nothing invul, special like, to them. I mean, except that this is the key blasting vol spin, so it is still key blasting vulnerable. A is gonna be the most used for sure. B assist is a barrier. But then, of course, barrier, the same as Android 18. Yeah, yeah. So her B assist is is a barrier. Yeah, and yeah it looks has, the like, same as Android 18. Same frame data as 18. So she has basically like, same two frame data. Really okay. strong assist that she can choose from. But yeah, it's a piercing beam, which is good. And uh, then C assist is a beam. Yeah, yeah you know, it gives you it gives you a full combo. Yeah, I, I'd say like all her assists are pretty are really really strong. When it comes to C assist, if I gotta pick one, I I, I guess it would be a C beam. You know? All right, because Apology Man has been labbing. First off, some of the BNBs, right? We've seen a lot. He's of got some chombos. Showcase, but I think he's good to just. So got some chombos. Yeah, so you can use her stomp to like really extend easily with assists. Uh, stomp in here, into extension. Uh, this is mostly the highest damage uh, that I was able to find so far. Uh, if highest damage Apology Man early, found. And then you combo into two two M afterwards. You get a little ground bounce, and you can extend afterwards. Uh, but otherwise, like it's. If you can, oh you my god, the reach on that 5M is deceivingly like kind of long. You can go all the way there and link a 5M and then get a, like a corner combo after that. Uh, but, but, but yeah, I, I'd say... Mid-screen uh, loops from uh, Wawa if you want some uh, spark loops. I actually like these ones. They, they look like, like a version of the base Goku ones. I don't, uh, is that optimal though? I'm not sure. I don't think so. That's I don't that's think that's yeah, optimal. Lights, yeah, so I think it's probably like yeah. less damage. Dude, this character has like literally, I've now seen eight or seven different spark loops at this point. Like, yeah. I haven't mm. even seen this one. <laughs> like, there's a yeah. slide one, yeah. Just jump Whoa. to each one. Oh, God. Uh, oh, that is damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Sparking I'm loops damage for sure. Ones, I couldn't quite get them consistent. This is sick though. Yeah, so this is Sheesh. solo TOD. That's actually very practical, right? By yourself. Wow. Uh, I heard you like stomps, yeah? But count the stomps. Oh. 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 And just whiffing vanishes. She's not even in Sparky, she's just whiffing vanishes. You like stomps? We got that for you. Look at the finish. Okay, that was sick. Okay, EX. Into whiff, Spark. Okay. Okay. Okay, she is so dead. <laughs> There's no way. EX starter sparking whiff into EX stomp. Please. Oh. Pick it up. Level three. Oh, oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Another one. Oh, I just kept doing it. Super loops. 
She's is, got super loops! So after watching a ton of matches and the breakdown for this character, here's how I'm feeling about it. First of all, the damage debuff is insane. The buff is in line with some other characters that we have in the game right now. I mean, for instance, Super Broly gets a permanent damage buff when he lands his level 3. The big difference here being it's just a level 1, and it's a level 1 that you can pretty much do at the end of any combo. And it's also a very good mix because it's an unblockable command grab. It permanently buffs Android 21, so so far so good, but the debuff on the enemy team is actually insane, and I think that it only debuffs the character that she hits. It wouldn't debuff the entire team permanently. So if you want to debuff everyone, you gotta hit it three times at least. It's still a very powerful mechanic. Overall, I think she has very good tools. She seems kind of simple to play. The biggest weaknesses, I can see the down heavy being not that strong of a button. And I think her assists are both very good, but not top tier, which is ultimately gonna make her a point character. But of course, this is just my impression watching the gameplay and not actually playing it myself. But because her assists are good and the character just works with a lot of different characters, she's gonna be very versatile. She's gonna fit into so many teams and I really like the sauce she has on a lot of her combos It's really really cool. I just hope the damage debuff isn't busted, but it probably will be all the combos all the TODs You have been labbing will not work after she lands a single level one on you think about that for the entire match TODs denied. Anyway, that's how I'm feeling about this character. Let me know how you guys are feeling about her. Now that you've seen the gameplay, now that you've seen the breakdown, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Globku, and I'll see you next time. Bye.